This video is part of a docu-series detailing stories of viral videos and clips from the internet. I'm breaking them down to provide some context for what you may or may not come across with internet access. Please keep in mind, this is an educational series informing the public on real news events. These stories are intended for mature audiences, and viewer discretion is advised. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to get right into today's video, but real quick, I just wanted to take a second to say I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. These videos are not intended to glorify anything but are here to serve as education and highlight the importance of awareness and training. With that being said, let's get into the video. Let's talk about scammers. This first story is unlike any other I have told, but it has been popping up in multiple Telegram group chats, so here we are talking about it. A known vendor on Telegram, a 19-year-old who went by the name Quantum, has recently pulled an exit scam on his clients and team of upwards of $1.2 million. Now, like I said, this is just a story, and the details are pretty hard to track down and confirm. But from what we know, Quantum became a reputable vendor over Telegram and was known widely for his automated order bots he created. More recently, Quantum pulled a rug on his operation and framed his team for exit scamming. Many of the clients have gotten together to try to piece together what happened and how they all got scammed. In doing so, many details about Quantum were released, including the identities of his family members, as well as some details on his past. Quantum's two crypto wallets were both traced and leaked, each containing about $600,000. There is also a tally of other smaller confirmed losses from his clients totaling over $130,000. There are rumors some of the people who got scammed were part of the Mexican cartel, so this begs the question, what is going to happen to Quantum? And the answer is we don't really know. People reached out to the father of Quantum to further confirm his identity, and this was the transcript. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're on about. What's going on? No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, fuck, he's smarter than I thought, but I haven't seen him in six years. I know he's living with uh, some girl up in Russia. Good luck. Yeah, that's him. Needed to hear what? <laughs> that he was my son? It seems like Quantum has had a rocky relationship with his parents, especially if he has not seen his father in six years, and Quantum only being 19 years old himself. I would assume people are looking for Quantum if they are going to the lengths to find his family. His parents and siblings have since disabled all of their social medias. One of the reasons it is so hard to find Quantum is because he continuously moves locations. It is believed Quantum has spent about 80% of his life in California and Canada, but he has now fled to either Kazakhstan or Russia. Here are some videos sent by Quantum himself to the group of people he scammed for them to watch. This shit, this shit made me hella bread, bro. Just so you know, I'm not playing. I made hella bread, hella bread, bro, off, off, off selling off this shit, you know? It's not fake. Put the camera down. So the big mystery is how this will turn out for Quantum. I shared this story to bring light to the situation and highlight the importance of knowing who you are dealing with on the internet. So we talked about scammers, now let's talk about AKs. More specifically, the AK-74 you will see in this next video that is demonstrating the durable capabilities of the rifle. But first, let's go over some AK history real fast. The AK-47, chambered in 7.62x39, was designed in 1945 and presented for military trials in 1947. By 1948, the fixed stocked version was introduced into active service for the Soviet Army. 26 years later, in 1974, the AK-74, the rifle we're talking about today, chambered in 5.45mm, 
was developed by the Soviets to compete with the U.S. Army's M16 and 5.56 mm Now this video shows an AK-74 still running after taking a round directly to the receiver of the rifle as well as the dust cover. Вот так вот вчера осколками похуярил автомат, блин. Насквозь. Но самое удивительное. Он заряжен? Да. Авто... Автомат. Ну-ка улыбнись, котел. I thought the video was a good demonstration of some of the desirable qualities of the AK platform. It can be pretty mind-blowing how resilient AKs can be under extreme conditions. So we talked about scammers and we talked about AKs. Now let's talk about holsters. In this next video you will see the importance of having a good quality holster and more importantly the importance of training and proper use. The video comes from inside a gun store and shows a man standing in a gray t-shirt when you can hear on camera, he chambers around into his handgun. That's why you're practicing. And then you can see him holster the handgun in the 12 o'clock position. A few moments go by as the man in gray is having a side conversation with one of the store employees when... The man in gray was concealed carrying a Glock 43 inside a G-code NCOG inside the waistband holster. When the man reinserted his loaded handgun into the holster, his under t-shirt he was wearing got stuck in the trigger guard of the handgun while still inside of the holster. When the man leaned down to pick something up from the ground, the firearm was discharged, sending a round through his leg. The man survived the incident but the video proves the importance of taking your time to ensure that gear is set up properly. I do want to note this incident was not at fault of the holster or the firearm used, but was a result of improper reholstering of the firearm itself. The next video story takes place in Kazakhstan and details a love triangle gone wrong. On January 13th of 2024, Elyar Yunustov, a 34-year-old MMA, kickboxing, and kudo world master, was found deceased on the ground outside of a residential area. CCTV footage would soon reveal what had happened. On camera, you can see 34-year-old Elyar walking down the street when a man wearing all black with a double-barreled shotgun comes into scene, instantly firing two shots at Elyar, causing him to fall to the ground. The attacker proceeds to use his double-barreled shotgun to beat Elyar while he's still on the ground. He then leaves Elyar and flees in his vehicle. The suspect, a 27-year-old man residing in the same city, was apprehended by police an hour later, where he admitted to the crime, attributing it to an overpowering sense of jealousy fueled by suspicions of Elliot's alleged romantic involvement with his 24-year-old wife. I will say, this love triangle gone wrong theme seems to be a reoccurring one. So all I'm saying is, if I were you, I would be careful of whose business I stick my nose in, as these things seem to end relatively the same. Thank you all for watching. There is a free premium code that can be used at checkout for the website for free premium access. This is a one-time code, first come, first served. Have a good day, and remember, awareness is key.